Okay, so hi guys. I apologize that I like never look attractive in my videos because it's summer vacation and I just, why get dressed? Anyway, so turn to page 73 of a book and read part of it. This is the most recent book I read, like finished, so I'm just choosing this one. Alright, 73. I listened as Marshall took in a breath, then let it out. Ah, he said, finally, mystery solved. I was a mystery, I asked. You were something, he replied. You okay? This was unexpected, as was the lump that rose up in my throat as I heard it. I swallowed, then said, yeah, I'm fine. Marshall was 18 and had graduated from Jackson the year before, although we hadn't known each other until he moved in with Rogerson, the guy who sold all my friends their pot. This is the program. <laughs> At first, Marshall didn't make much of an impression, just as tall, skinny guy who was always passing through or in the kitchen when we went over there to get bags. I never even talked to him until one day I went over by myself and Rogerson wasn't around, so it was just the two of us. Rogerson was all business and little conversation. You knocked, you came in, got what you needed, and got out. I was expecting pretty much the same with Marshall, and at first he didn't disappoint, barely speaking as I followed him to the living room and watched him measure out the bag. I paid him and was just about to get to my feet when he reached over to a nearby cabinet, pulling out a drawer and taking out a small ceramic bowl. You want some? he asked. Sure, I replied, and he handed, and then he handed it over, along with the lighter. I could feel him watching me. His dark eyes narrowed as I lit it, took some in, and passed it back. I'd like to clarify that this whole book is not about pot, and that just page 73 is, apparently. Yeah, not a good page to read. Let's read page 7. I was the first line of defense, always ready with an explanation or a bit of spin. She's at the bank right now, I'd tell the landlord, even if she, as she snored on the couch on the other side of the half-closed door. She's just outside, talking to a delivery. I'd assure her boss so he'd release her bags for the day to me while she smoked a much-needed cigarette in the fright area and tried to calm her shaking hands. And finally, the biggest lie of all, of course she's still living here, she's just working a lot, which is what I told the sheriff that day when I'd been called out of fourth period and found him waiting for me. That time, though, all the spin in the world didn't work. I talked to the people just like she'd always asked, but they weren't listening. That first day, though, when my mom and I pulled up in front of the yellow house, things were okay. Sure, we'd left our apartment with the usual drama, owing back rent, the super lurking, ar the super lurking around watching us so carefully that we had to pack the car over a series of days, adding a few things each time we went to the store or to work. I'd gotten used to this, though, the same way I'd adjusted to us rarely, if ever, having a phone, and if we did, having it listed under another name. Ditto with my school paperwork, which my mom often filled out with a fake address as she was convinced that creditors and old landlords would track us down that way. For a long time, I thought this was the way everyone lived. When I got old enough to realize otherwise, it was already a habit, and anything else would have felt strange. That gives a more clear synopsis of the book. Not that it's a synopsis, but... Okay, so my five favorite books. This one is the first one, Lock and Key by Sarah Dessen. I just finished reading it. It was so good. Um, second is Aubrey Waite. I don't know who it's by. Oh, I'll look it up. This is why I use my computer when I videotape so that I can look up the names of books really easily. I must page to side that. Okay. So, it's by Robin Benway, and it's called Audrey Waite. Did I say Aubrey Waite? Well, it's Audrey Waite. Um, oh, I should give you a synopsis of each book. This book is about a girl who lives with her mom, and then her mom leaves, and so she's, like, left on her own, and then they find out that she's living on her own, and she's 19 yet, so they make her move in with her sister and her sister's husband, and basically it's just about that, and yeah, it's really good. Aubrey Waite is Audrey Waite. Audrey Waite. I must have called it Aubrey Waite, but it's Audrey. Anyway, it's about this girl. Um, she breaks up with her boyfriend, and then her boyfriend makes Audrey Waite like this hit song, and she hears it on the radio everywhere, and then people find out it's about her, and she just gets in a lot of trouble, and it's good. Um, third favorite book? Well, I'm like in the middle of reading My Sister's Keeper and it's so good. Like it's one of those books that just keeps you interested the whole time and I can't put it down. Um, what other books? Well, I used to really like the Click series. Then they got a little too like young for me, but the, that was a really good series. They're by Lisey Harrison. Um, 
Other books by Sarah Destin are good too, just to throw those in as a fifth. Um, the Truth About Forever, This Lullaby. I th I've read all of them except Dreamland and Keeping the Moon. So Just Listen, Someone Like You, That Summer, The Truth About Forever, and This Lullaby, and Lock and Key. Recommend those too. I really like reading. I was going to do a challenge kind of like this, but like not this. But I had like three challenge ideas, so it's fine. Yeah. Books. Nerds. Unite. That was uncalled for.